Hi guys, today I want to show you like a super cool experiment I've run recently um, to find a good low competition niche on Redbubble and using only ChatGPT AI software. So probably you're already interested as it was like a super easy task to do and when you build the scheme, uh, how can you actually do this? You can find these niches repeatedly. So it's not like this is only a one time process. You can actually repeat it and find like a hundreds of niches to create designs in. So first I want to show you what steps I actually took to find this exact like um, kind of niche and then the specific niches inside of it. So maybe you can call it some kind of a sub niches, a super low competitive and probably with a good CEO and good demand. The first question I've asked um, ChatGPT was kind of like a generic question. Uh, and it was like, can you find me top 10 CEO print on demand niche ideas for t-shirts? He was like, sure, yeah, here are the like top 10 CEO print on demand niche ideas. It was like fine dog t-shirts, um, fitness motivation t-shirts, retro pop culture, video t-shirts, political t-shirts, nature inspired, nature inspired and things like that. But ultimately I decided to go with the inspirational quote t-shirts. And the thing now is that on Redbubble there are probably like hundreds of thousands inspirational quote t-shirts. So how can we narrow down the results to find something with a good demand, with actually some demand and a super low competition. So here is the next question I have asked ChatGPT. Can you find me low competition inspirational quotes to put on a t-shirt? Um, and it was some kind of a mistake. And I think the mistake was to um, ask him for a specific quote. As probably most of these quotes can be even copyrighted and you cannot put them on a t-shirt. So the next question I did was to find me the exact same quotes, like the exact same format, which are quotes, but this time copyright free. So it was like, can you find me low competition, copyright free inspirational quotes to put on a t-shirt? And here are the results. There are practically the same. So some of the quotes can be used. You just um, cannot put, for example, the author in the title or in the tags and it still could be used for selling this on a t-shirt but I just wanted to be sure that I can use that so I asked in like the last third question can you find me low competition copyright free inspirational phrases to put on a t-shirt so as you can see you have to be really specific with a chat GPT what I did was I actually replaced the word quotes with the word phrases and here are finally the results I wanted. So like the exact phrases I can put on a t-shirt, I can actually type in Redbubble search, see how many results they have. So yeah, I'm changing my mind. In the last video about ChatGPT, I was telling you, you can actually find a specific exact niche here, but it seems that you can. The only thing you need to do is to try to make this step-by-step -step process. Don't ask him like straight away, for example, for hi chat GPT, can you give me best keyword for Redbubble t-shirt? He's not gonna do it. There is no such thing as best keyword. And like the variety he can probably take the information from is too big to give you some the results. So you need to be um, more specific. You need to take this process step-by-step. So here are the results um, he gave me. I actually type uh, one of them already into Redbubble search results. It was, I believe this, yeah. The power of imagination makes us infinite. And as you can see, only 71 results on Redbubble. And it's not like this phrase is like a um, gold mine out of this 10. Yeah, probably like most of them will work great on Redbubble. So, yeah, let me put stay positive, work hard, work hard, sorry, make it happen. Let's type that one into search results. And as you can see, 236 results. Wow. Okay, maybe let's let's put that one. Dream big, work hard. Dream big, work hard, stay focused. Um, 
let me put that one as you can see 32 results so these are like a crazy low competitive keywords uh, you can use but the next thing i would do like before i continue with the next questions um, i asked chat gpt what i did was i simply checked on tm hunt if i can use this keyword and i believe it was um this keyword was an example so let's stay with that one the power of imagination makes us infinite and i typed it in the tm hunt so yeah let's type it and click on the exact match first you can see no results so probably this whole phrase is not a trademark and now the partial match also i don't see any results here and yeah so it probably means you can use it if you don't know what tm hunt is this is actually a super simple trademark hunter for clothing trademarks so for all trademarks with the type of 25 uh, 25 is the trademark number in the united states um, that stands for all of the clothing so you have like footwear t-shirts sweatshirts probably most of the products uh, you can sell in uh, print on demand and as you can see you don't have anything here probably if i would go to split search and i would type this phrase i would have some results so for example like you see the word power uh, is trademarked but you have to remember that you can still use the word with its original meaning so if you have like the word um for example let's say unicorn yeah you have the word unicorn and if i type on search it's probably also gonna be yeah it is also trademarked but the thing is you still can use it for example in a sentence so unicorn is i don't know unicorn is my favorite animal t-shirt like that it still can be used remember that because many people uh, don't know that and they are super scared of um, using these phrases which appear to be trademarked uh, on trademark counter but okay we have checked that this niche is not a trademark we can use it if somehow this niche uh, or actually this quote this phrase is a quote of someone famous just stay away from using the author's name um, just stick to the original phrase the next thing I did was simply to ask ChatGPT for the 10 potential CEO keywords related to the t-shirt quote uh, and this was the quote, the power of imagination makes us infinite. So by the top 10 CEO keywords, um, I meant actually the tags for Redbubble as uh, you can get a great CEO tax ideas here in ChatGPT. And as you can see, he gave me a few ideas. What I would do is I would not straight like copy them and put them onto Redbubble tags box and upload the design. First, I would try to combine them a bit with the original phrase. So like the main phrase of the niche, which is the power of imagination makes us infinite. What I would do here is I would combine this phrase with these keywords. So for example, inspirational, uh, the power of imagination, inspirational quote power of imagination motivational quote um, and things like that you, you get the point here just try to mix them up before you put them into um, redbubble tax box and also remember to always check the trademark on your tags because um, people are people are still asking me can i use um, i don't know the author's name in the tax section no you can't you can't use it anywhere you can use a trademarked um keywords in title in a description in a tags anywhere okay so the last thing i did i asked um chat gpt to create me this kind of a t-shirt description for this phrase and here is what it sounds like introducing our latest t-shirt design that features the inspiring quote the power of imagination makes us infinite and this is perfect for anyone who loves to dream big and unleash their creative potential so what i would do i would actually copy only parts of this description and paste them and try to create with them like a kind of simple description of a redbubble product as print on demand websites don't like this kind of approach 
uh, when you're writing a description. So the approach when you are stating as you would be um, a creator of the physical t-shirt. You are a creator of a design, but the red bubble is a creator of a t-shirt. So you, you shouldn't um, mention in a description that, for example, the t-shirt is the best quality you can get. So just like 100% cotton or something, you can do that. So like a simple short description of a product. Um, if you watch my videos a lot, you know, um, I used to say the description on Redbubble and also even on Merge by Amazon and the public is more like a thing for Google ranking. So Google CEO, it won't help you much in uh, Redbubble search results. You won't get you like ranked on the first page. It only helps with, with Google results, but it also is really important. And if you can get it in like couple seconds without even bothering to think how you can write it, I mean like get it. Guys, so uh, I think this video is already too long. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're gonna use the potential and um, chat GPT and in general the AI uh, gives us to create a great designs to find like the best niches and make a lot of sales. Thank you so much for watching this video. I see you next time. Bye bye.